Today I'm talking about abuse, neglect and violence in residential aged care. My name is Kate Swaffer and I'm an activist and independent researcher for the rights of people with dementia and all people living in residential care. I also co-founded Dementia Alliance International in 2014, which is a global charity for people with dementia to ensure we have an authentic voice and which also provides services such as weekly virtual peer-to-peer -peer support that until COVID, no other organisation was providing us with. People with dementia have the right not to be sexually assaulted or to be abused, neglected or violated in any way. And if they are, they have the right to legal action against the perpetrator. As a person living with young onset dementia, I also have a very vested interest in this. In 2019, I made a submission to the Australian Royal Commission into Aged Care which was the only submission of more than 10,500 to note the need for redress for abuse, neglect and violence in residential aged care, which includes sexual assault or sexual violence of any kind. In the interim and final report, the Commission estimated there are 50 sexual assaults in residential aged care every week in Australia. And the research is clear that most victims and survivors of sexual assault are women with dementia. Given that sexual assault is such a significant issue for people with dementia, why has so little been done to prevent it? I believe the answer to this is very complex. In part, it is due to ageism and ageist attitudes of politicians, healthcare professionals, including medical doctors, nurses and paid carers, and most of the aged care provider sector, as well as civil society more generally. In fact, it almost feels like ageism is becoming a crime when related to abuse, neglect and violence against people living in residential care. It is also due to a lack of education and to negative attitudes about and towards people with dementia. For example, in the ADI World Alzheimer's Report on Attitudes and Stigma, they found that almost 62% of healthcare providers worldwide think that dementia is a normal part of ageing and 40% of the general public think doctors and nurses ignore people with dementia. It is also due to a large percentage of service provider staff lacking an understanding of dementia and in the devaluing of people with dementia causing disrespectful and neglectful care. When people are diagnosed with dementia, they are stripped of their full citizenship. I know this from my own personal experience. Dementia has taught me many things, especially the sense of otherness the, that the late Dr. King talked about. We are perceived as less than human. We are denied universal health coverage, including rehabilitation. And we are often denied adequate health care for non-dementia related illnesses after a diagnosis. For example, there is a commonly held myth that people with dementia don't feel pain or that if we do feel pain, we won't remember it. So we get less pain management than a person without dementia who has the same needs. That is wrong. We are human. We feel pain, even if you can't see it or we can't express it. And we have the right to access appropriate pain management. Many people with advanced dementia are also denied palliative care. In a similar way, some service providers think if someone with dementia is sexually assaulted, they won't feel distressed and they won't remember the sexual assault. So it doesn't matter. This is truly appalling. And if we were talking about children in daycare, we would take legal action. In fact, one survey showed that in 58% of sexual assaults, staff reported there were no adverse consequences for the resident. Well, it does matter. Sexual assault of all people, including people with dementia, matters. Just because a person with dementia who has been sexually assaulted may not be able to tell you about their distress or cannot remember it. And just because you cannot see their distress, that does not mean they are not distressed or that legal action should not be taken. Too often, I hear stories of people with the power to act, including police being involved, who do not believe persons with dementia. This is wrong. 
people with dementia who are sexually assaulted have the right to be recognised as fully human. This includes the right to have the harmful, harmful nature of sexual assault recognised, reported on and acted on. They have the right to access support services. They have the right to be safe from further sexual assault. We all have a role to play in preventing sexual assault of people with dementia and it re requires that we challenge the myths of sexual assault as being less harmful for people with dementia. We need our residential aged care service providers to understand this and we also need our governments and advocates and particularly our dementia specific services to understand it. Whilst doing really amazing work, younger advocates for sexual assault, such as the 2021 Australian of the Year, Grace Tame, and also Brittany Higgins, are not talking about or advocating for the sexual assault of older people. To be frank, I see this as part of the problem, which may also be due to ageism, but if we are advocating for the rights of any cohort not to be sexually abused or violated in any way, then let us not forget older people. We will hopefully have the privilege of getting old one day too. And we want to know we will be safe from all forms of violence, abuse and neglect, including sexual assault, and that our rights will be upheld. It is our attitudes that make people with dementia vulnerable. If you do not understand this, you are part of the problem. Thank you.